Hi, I'm Rhonda Phillips. And I'm Shelley Phillips Sorrell. And we have the privilege of introducing our sister Robin Phillips, who's being honored with a Distinguished Alumni Award. The Alumni Committee has made a great choice. According to Webster's, the definition of distinguished is marked by eminence, distinction, or excellence. Google's definition is successful, authoritative, and commanding great respect. Robin is all of these and so much more. Her classmates at Minnetonka High School in 1981 knew this as well, and they voted her most respected. As early as third grade, she commanded respect. Robin created a petition signed by all the girls, and probably many of the boys, to allow the girls to play kickball on the playground with the boys. In high school, one of my teachers, who had already had Robin in her class the previous year, asked me, isn't it hard to walk in your sister's footsteps? And I replied, no, I walk alongside of her. <laughs> she knew right then I wasn't Robin. Well, I was very grateful to come before Robin. Robin knew early on that she wanted to be a lawyer. She graduated from Pepperdine University, where she spent a semester in Washington, D.C. as an intern with the State Department. She then attended Northwestern Law School in Chicago. After graduating, she moved back to Minnesota, passed the bar, and started her law career at Briggs & Morgan. While she was practicing, she sat on the boards of the Minnesota Justice Foundation, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and was on the volunteer attorney panel for the Minnesota AIDS Project. She also began doing volunteer work at the Minnesota Advocates for Human Rights, helping people, especially women experiencing abuse and people seeking asylum from countries that are politically unstable, is not what, just what she did in her spare time, but it is her passion. After six years at Briggs & Morgan, she accepted a position at the Advocates, first as the director of the women's program and as the executive director since 2002. The name of the organization was changed to the Advocates for Human Rights to reflect the global work they do. We speak for our entire family when we say we are so proud of you, Robin, and that all that you have accomplished. She's an amazing sister, aunt, daughter. She's just an amazing person. Congratulations, Robin. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, they don't let us see those beforehand. I'm a little emotional. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much to the Minnetonka High School Alumni Association for this recognition. It really means so much to me. And thank you, Rhonda and Shelley, for that beautiful presentation. And to the rest of my family who's here today, thank you so much. Especially my mom, Dottie Burans. Um, thank you for all your support over the years. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd also like to mention my sister, Renee, who's in the hospital and can't be with us here today. We're all praying for her complete recovery. This award is especially meaningful to be recognized by a place that gave so much to me. Not only a world-class education, but a supportive atmosphere that allowed me not only to test my limits, but to know that everything is possible. I know many of you experienced the same thing I did when I went to college and met people from high schools all over the country. It didn't take long in hearing their stories to know what a special place Minnetonka High School is. Every day, I'm grateful for my education. In my work, I see how important education is. So many problems in the world could be prevented by even the most basic education. Every day, I also see how extraordinarily privileged I am to be able to do this work and in my own way, try to make the world just a tiny bit better. For all of these things, I am so grateful to Minnetonka High School and to be part of this community. Thank you.